Hello everyone and welcome to Practical Open Source. My name is Peter and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to draw a bolt using LibreCAD. Now our bolt is going to be a one inch bolt so we'll change the units here to, from millimeter to inches and we'll say OK. Um, we will add a new layer called bolt. Uh, we will change the width of the line to a quarter of a millimeter so you guys can see this on screen at least a quarter of a millimeter and then we're, we're going to have to zoom in here um, as you can see the grid uh, size changes as you zoom in we want something like that and let's draw a polygon and we will snap to I've got snapping to the grid turned on so I can just snap to the origin but now I'm going to come down to the command line and say at that's a relative uh, coordinate so at 0 on the X and then the width across the corners is 1.732 inches and then we'll just divide that by 2 to get the radius and there's our head for the bolt. Now we'll draw a circle oh sorry we're gonna sorry we're gonna create a new layer called um, center line and we will make it red uh, the width of these lines quarter millimeter again line type we're gonna find center down here we'll choose center small we'll click OK now let's draw some center lines and we'll click two points and then we'll turn off snapping to the grid and we'll turn on endpoint snapping midpoint snapping and when you turn midpoint snapping on you want to make sure that the middle point is one and intersection snapping now we can just Pick the points that we want to here, here, and here. Okay, those are our center lines. Now we're going to go back to the bolt layer and draw a circle, center point from the center to there. And there's the top of our bolt. Now let's draw the side view. Let's draw a vertical line and we want the same length as uh, the width across the corners and the width across the corners is 1.732 snap point will say middle and we'll turn snap to grid on and then we'll put it right there turn snap to grid off now we'll want some uh, horizontal lines and the length of the horizontal lines is the height of the head of the bolt and that is actually for a one inch bolt 43 60 fourths we can just put that right into that box here and then we click here oh we'll hit control z because we don't want to put it in the middle we'll do that again horizontal line i believe that is the correct length still and then we will put that there put that there the way to check to see if that's the right length you go cal for calculate 43 divided by 64 that's the correct length so now we do two point line again to here to here now we want to draw some more horizontal lines again so we'll pick this corner and this corner and now we're going to modify trim we'll pick that as the cutting edge and you can see it turns green and we will keep this line keep this line right click to deselect that cutting edge select this as the cutting edge but this time it's going to extend these lines right click twice to get out of there now we want to show the relief of the top of this bolt and to do that we'll draw another horizontal line from the top of this circle we'll go down to modify trim select this edge and then extend that line and uh, this is cut at 30 degrees from vertical so we will draw uh, right click to get out of that we'll draw a line that's at an angle and we'll change that angle to 60 degrees off of horizontal start point there's that length again that's fine doesn't matter we'll trim it up so we'll go to modify trim cutting edge retain that line we can select that line now we can delete that okay and now we want to copy this line modify copy 
from the endpoint to that endpoint, and we will keep original. Deselect it. And now we'll draw an arc, a uh, three point arc, that intersection, that midpoint, that intersection. And now we're going to do from this intersection to that endpoint to that endpoint. And now we're going to go to modify, trim, cutting edge, retain that part of the line. And now we want to mirror these two lines about the center of the head. And we will say keep original, please. Okay. And now we can get rid of this line and we can trim. That's the cutting edge. We'll trim that line and that line. Right click trim that's the cutting edge trim that line and then that line okay oh i forgot to trim these first so we'll draw a line just a helper line we can draw it from there to there go to modify trim cutting edge retain that line retain that line and then you can get rid of this line and there's the head of our bolt um, now the length of this bolt uh, will be three inches so we'll draw a horizontal line and we will clear that and say three start point and we will select there now we will go to modify offset select the line hit enter and the distance is going to be uh, half of the width of the shaft of the bolt so that's the shaft of the bolt's diameter is 1.022 and then we'll say divided by 2 and then we'll offset that line this way and then we'll select this line go to offset again and then we'll put it on this side this time and then we can get rid of that line and now we can draw a new line just to cap this off Okay, so for every bolt that's less than six inches, the thread length is two and a quarter in length. So we'll select that, modify, move. That's the base point. Base point doesn't really matter. And this will go down to the command, command line for this one. We'll say at minus two and a quarter on the X and zero in the Y. And we will say keep original and now we're going to draw some threads symbolically at first and then we'll get more detailed so we'll select this first and then we will say uh, move copy that is the base point and then we will say specify target we'll go at we'll go at in a quarter inch along the x zero and the y and we're going to say multiple copies how many copies? Well, we want to fill two and a quarter inch, and we're doing it by quarter inches, but we already have one, so we'll do that many. And there we go. Um, we are going to draw a temporary line. For this, I'll just jump into the zero layer. We'll right click, we'll uh, change this layer color to something like magenta. Now we'll draw a line, a two point line. I'm just doing this so that I get a reference point in the middle here. Go back to bolt, uh, draw a vertical line, a quarter of an inch. Uh, snap point, we'll say middle, and then we'll pick this middle point of this magenta line and put that line right there. That magenta line might be hard to see. Let me increase the width on this layer to a quarter everything else there we go and now that the magenta line has done its job we can delete it and then we'll go to modify Oop. modify properties we'll select this line that I just drew and we will say the width of that we're going to increase it to a millimeter okay now we want to copy this move copy from there to there quarter of an inch uh, we'll do it that number of times again 
All right, now we'll hit Control K to deselect everything. And there is the bolt. There is a tiny little fillet radius in here that we could add. Um, let's jump back into the bolt layer. Modify uh, fillet radius uh, for this bolt is 0 0.03 of an inch. It's tiny. And you want to make sure that, that trim is deselected. So you want to zoom in here, select this line, select that line. And there's your fillet. And you want to come down here and do the same. Right click this time, fillet this line and that line. Um, what else you could do? Uh, let's extend this center line all the way through this bolt horizontally. So we will go to modify, trim. We'll select this edge and then we will select this center line. Right click twice to get out of there. Okay, let's just uh, duplicate this bolt or copy this bolt. So let's select everything. And we will go to move and copy. Uh, snap to grid will turn on. We'll select the middle point here and we will put the bolt there. Uh, keep original. Okay, now let's hit Control K. Okay, so let's redraw these threads a little bit more realistically. We'll delete those. Uh, this one inch bolt will have uh, eight threads per inch. So that means the threads are spaced out one eighth of an inch. It's the inverse of that. So we go to modify, move, copy. We'll move and copy this line here. We'll just turn off grid snapping. A specify reference point will say at x uh, one eighth. We'll just we can just type in one divided by eight, and then we'll say zero along the um... oh I didn't specify the reference point. Cancel. Let's try that again. So we'll select this, modify, move copy. That's the base point. Specify target point. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Okay, so at uh, 1 divided by 8 along the x, 0y. Uh, keep original. That's better. All right, let's zoom in here. Now, uh, threads are uh, 60 degrees from one another. So we'll draw some uh, angled lines here. Uh, 60 is fine. Length, 3 quarters. Okay, that's fine. We'll just trim everything anyway. So we'll put one there. And then we will invert that to minus 60 and we will put that there. Okay, now let's trim. Uh, you could go modify trim. You could also um, just type in trim and then hit enter. That's the cutting edge. We want to keep that line and this line. We want to keep uh, that's the cutting edge and we want to keep this line. Right click, cutting edge, keep that line. Okay. Uh, now we can delete that line. Now we need multiple copies of this. Select these two lines, go to modify, move copy, base point, move it over by an eighth of an inch, multiple copies. This time we're moving things over by an eighth of an inch, which is 0 0.125. And we already have a copy, so we'll minus one. Here we go. We'll hit control K to deselect everything. Now we're going to mirror all of these threads. Modify, mirror, and we'll just go along the center line here. We'll say keep the original, okay. And now we need to mirror them about themselves. Uh, right click, mirror, and we're going to pick the midpoint on this thread and then that thread, and then say keep original. Now we want to delete the original, okay. Now let's draw a line here from the crest, or the peak, to peak, and then, oops, another line from this valley to that valley. And now we want to select these two lines here, and then we'll say modify, move, copy, and then we want to go from peak to peak, multiple copies, same amount. Okay, hit control K to deselect everything. Now let's trim. Uh, the cutting edge, trim that line, and that line. 
And now I want to trim this last line at the end here like that. And there is uh, the bolt I believe is nearly done. Let's create another layer here called hidden. Let's spell that properly. Uh, we'll turn that green and we will say quarter of an inch, quarter of a millimeter, sorry, hit okay. Continuous, no, we don't want continuous, do we? We want dashed. All right, and now we will draw some circles. So we want center radius. The radius of this bolt is the body diameter divided by two. So we can just put that there and that there. And now we want the inside of these threads. So what we can do is um, draw a circle here to here. And now we can select it, say move from the center to that center and we'll say delete the original. And then we can copy that up here. So modify, move copy from there to there as well. Keep the original this time. Control K, deselect everything. All right, now we, now we can start throwing in some dimensions. So let's create a new layer. We'll call this dimensions. And we'll change the color to oh, custom. You can pick whatever custom color you want to, but I'm just going to pick red. Width, uh, 0.25 millimeters, continuous. Okay, so let's just make sure that I drew everything properly. So let's pick a vertical dimensions and we'll go from corner to corner. I see a problem. I'm going to right click. These are obviously way too big. So we're going to go to options, options, current drawing preferences. Go to dimensions, and I believe 0 0.04 works. It's good enough. 1.732, that is correct. Let's pick dimensions again. Let's go horizontal. Now let's see the width across flats, one and a half. That's perfect. The height of this. The head is 0.6719. Again, we can calculate what that's supposed to be. 43 60 fourths. 43 divided by 64 is 0.671875, which of course rounds to 6719. It's good. Um, let's draw another dimension. Uh, horizontal, let's see. The length of these threads is two and a quarter. Uh, the length of the bolt is three inches. This fillet, uh, let's see, radial is 0 0.03. Good, that's correct. Um, this dimension is angular. We'll say from that to that. 30 degrees. Good. Um, and then the threads. Let's just double check that they're 60 degrees from each other. They are. Okay. Um, one last thing you might want to do is extend the center lines. And you can do that by going to modify, uh, lengthen. And up here we have an eighth of an inch. Sure, that's fine. Let's try it. Yep, that's not bad. And then this center line. Okay, and that's how you draw a bolt using LibreCAD. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.